So we're here at uh, Wind River, and uh, who are you? I'm Kikea Chicoso. I do technical marketing for Wind River. And uh, what are you showing here? Uh, so right now we're showing a lot of our IoT uh, products that are coming out in Wind River. Um, we over here we have uh, Helix Lab Cloud that allows you to do a lot of, run a lot of simulations over the web. Right. Over here we also have a rocket, a demonstration of Wind River rocket. What is that? So if you it's go our and see free operating system, system for running on MCUs that's available on, on the, also on the cloud. So anybody can go in and register so and start using it. So it runs on ARM Cortex-M uh, class products? Right now it's running on the K64F. Um, so if you don't have a board, you can still do it there. And this is a QMU. Yeah. Oh, we have Helix end-to-end -end demos here. Over here, we uh, our Wind River Helix is a family of products, and we show them running from the device all the way up to the cloud for some device platforms, application development, and also for simulations and lab cloud. So Wind River is a EDA company, right? Wind River is a uh, company that provides a lot of solutions for embedded devices, and in here we provide them yeah, for a lot of IoT devices too. All right, okay, let's, let's go around here. Okay, and, uh, yeah. and finally we have our uh, our VxWorks demonstration here. So hi, so who are you? I'm Malou Meadows with the QT company. I'm sales engineer for Americus, and I'm here with Wind River to show off our continuing partnership of QT with VxWorks. So what is this? So this is a VxWorks application it's, um, that's running on an ARM board. We are showing an example of a home healthcare system and we're using QT for its graphics, so it's very easy to take the, some of the QML languages and create the interface out of it. So for example, um, all the animation, all the mo movements are done using uh, the QML language, uh, using QT technology on top of it. We're showing uh, how smooth it is, and also, uh, in this case, if uh, in this example, if you have a, an, an old grandmother in your home, you can take a home healthcare system and you want to make sure that your grandmother takes their blood pressure every day, but you're also worried that maybe she'll miss some of these measurements. So you make sure that uh, after she goes and finishes and measuring her blood pressure, you want to be able to take the data and send it over to our Helix device cloud. Now Helix device cloud is a uh, is a server, is a cloud server that lets you aggregate all the data. And once you've aggregated it, it can come in and display all this data. So the fact that my grandmother just finished posting her blood pressure, I can see that it has been updated onto the Helix device cloud from my home three states over. All right. So what kind of uh, cute software is running right here? What kind of uh, version and stuff? Okay, is so this? Our, our QT release for VxWorks 7 is 5.5.1. Uh, we are in alpha currently. We are going release final within a week or two by the end of November to be specific. Uh, I'm very proud of this release. Uh, it is the second time we've released for VxWorks and it is a very strong operating system. We have many joint customers across the country that I'm working actively with, evaluations. I've been working with the Wind River folks, a wonderful team to work with, and we pulled off some exciting things. We also support Wind River Linux 7. I've recently finished a project at a joint customer, which is just an exciting uh, new opportunities for us. So what kind, of, uh, what kind of customers do you have? What kind of products does this, all these solutions go into? I love it. So while it can go into a lot of medical products, um, VxWorks goes into a lot of things like robot arms and, um, and, and aerospace. Uh, in space. Airplanes. You in space. We are in space. We're in the Mars rover. Or anything that went successfully into Mars has Wind River in it. Cool. All right. So awesome.